for the problems on the back of the worksheet, instead of writing the names, we're going to write the formulas. And so, say we're given uh, this first box here, we have Na+, plus, and over here we have Cl-. minus. Now remember, if there's no number, that means the charge is a 1. And so what this is saying is we have a sodium that has a plus one charge and a chloride which has a minus one charge. And we're going to combine them. And so in order to get a balanced formula, we do the crisscross method. So the one from the sodium goes down and becomes the subscript for chloride. And the one from the chloride goes down and becomes the subscript for sodium. And so the new uh, combined equation for these is Na1Cl1. But remember, if the subscripts are 1, we don't write them. And so our final answer would just be NaCl. So that's a pretty straightforward example. Um, let's do one that has a polyatomic ion in the formula. So we'll look over here. Um, we have, again, still Na plus 1, and we're going to combine that with sulfate, SO4, and it has a minus 2 charge. Now, SO4 is a polyatomic ion, that's sulfate. And so before we do our crisscross, it's very important to put parentheses around the polyatomic ion. That way your um, subscripts that are inside the parentheses don't get messed up with what's on the outside. And so to do our crisscross, the one from the sodium comes down here on the outside of the parentheses. And this two is going to come down here uh, to become a subscript for sodium. And so now our final formula is going to be Na2, the 2 comes from the crisscross, parentheses, SO4, and then you could put the 1, but you don't have to, um, again, because the 1 typically is not written in the formula. And so notice the subscript inside the parentheses did not change. Sulfate is sulfate. You can't change that when you crisscross. And so if you ended up with SO5 or SO6, you did something wrong. Um, what's inside the parentheses should always stay the same. So let's do one more example just to make sure we're okay with these problems. We'll do uh, one that involves two polyatomic ions. So let's look at uh, NH4 plus and we'll combine that with PO4 minus 3. All right, so our first step is to set up our crisscross. So we have NH4 that has a plus one charge and we're going to put parentheses around the NH4 and PO4 minus 3, that's phosphate. So we're going to set it up to where we have our parentheses and our charge on the outside. Next step is to do our crisscross. So the one from NH4 goes on the outside of the phosphate and the 3 is going to go on the outside of the parentheses for our NH4. So our final formula is going to look like this. We have parentheses NH4 with a 3 super subscript and then parentheses PO4 and again, we can write the one, but we don't have to write the one because it's implied. Okay, so what's in red is coming from the crisscross. What's in purple is just already given to you in the problem. So your final answer is NH4, 3, PO4, 1. And all this is saying is that you have 3 NH4 ions and 1 PO4 ion. 
and that's how you'll do all of the problems on this page.